could have before. And I think we start to get into problem territories whenever we think of disabilities in one or the other camps. I think that disabilities can be either physical or they can be mental. And so, and I think they also can definitely have elements of both and even tie in emotional and maybe even spiritual aspects sometimes. And I think ultimately what a disability is, is a unique quality. And I know that's a strange wording, but I think it's an important way to word it as unique quality. And I think there are plenty of unique qualities that you can have that don't qualify you as disabled. But the reason I'm saying unique is because fundamentally what it means to be disabled is relative. If every single person in the world was born, so right now if somebody doesn't have a left arm, we think of them as disabled. But imagine if nobody had a left arm, that person wouldn't be disabled anymore. So ultimately it's about what you can accomplish um, in terms of simple tasks relative to the rest of society. So it's unique, unique in the sense of being different from other people. It's unique quality that you have that impairs major life activities. And so it can stop you from doing things in your life that you would consider important or that societally most people are able to fulfill. And that's kind of the definition that, is, that I pull from the Americans with Disabilities Act. So another word that we need to talk about is intersectionality. Unfortunately, intersectionality is one of those words that becomes a buzzword when people have an opinion of it based off of how they've heard it used, who they've heard it used by, the context in which they've heard it used without at any point understanding what the term actually means. So I think if we want to understand what intersectionality means, we just have to think of an intersection, first of all, get a mental image of an intersection in the road. You have ba and you have ba, and then ba right here, that's the intersection. So the intersection is whenever you have a ba and a ba that go together, and then you have the ba and that intersection where the two ba's cross, that is where you have the convergent of the two other ba's. And so, I don't know, I'm calling it buzz. So that convergence right there is the intersection of, now we're getting back into the more literal sense, of two different qualities that people can have. For example, male, black. There is a certain experience that you have as a male in America that carries along certain privileges, but also certain um, certain things that hold you back. It can have, uh, there's like a very unique experience of what it's like to be a male. And the same is also true of being black. There are all these different things that play into what it, the black experience is like in America. And so a lot of people think, okay, this is what it's like to be male. This is what it's like to be black. You get ba, you get ba, ba. And then you know what it's like. It's just, this, you just get these two things, you understand what both of them are like, and then now you know what it's like to be a black man. But intersectionality challenges that notion. And it says, instead says, whenever there is an intersection of two different qualities, they take up for themselves their own emergent qualities that are unique from the mere sum of the parts of both qualities. So being a black man in America